He'd made his camp by the river in a green and grassy meadow, neath the boughs of casuarinas and the stately ironbark trees. His blackened billy was boiling, with the steaming water roiling, and for added flavour he threw in a gum leaf with the tea. There were mushrooms, bacon, taters, plenty left over for later, if a quick snack was then fancied as the morning wild away. He could make a bacon sanger, even grill some extra bangers with tomato sauce and crusty rolls. A feast, I hear you say. It was the long weekend of Easter, and this year it was a long one, for Anzac Day was in the mix a day of national pride. Old diggers are heavy drinkers, but this man was using sinkers on a line with bait attached and fishing out on the collide. In the West Shire of Banana, where Leith Hayes, a local farmer, used an old dung-coloured bullock to lure others to his side. That was back in 1850, a plan of action somewhat nifty. The bullock was called Banana for the colour of his hide. Old Jim, the fishing digger, had his stubbies and a jigger full of Bundy that he planned to use to toast his long-gone mates. No longer a marching soldier, his old bones had got much older. Each year he honoured the fallen, saw no call to celebrate. But he well recalled the summer, marching to a beating drummer, down the streets of Sydney to the quay, all the young men on parade, with all the other blokes departing, leaving home their plans in parting. Every house across the country had maps of fighting zones displayed. So today he sat there fishing, recalling the dead and missing, thinking of his brother Toby, a young bloke lost to his home and country and dear ones, one of Australia's heroes, unsung, who rested on foreign shores now in a different country's home. Then he felt the hand line jerking, and soon old Jim was working pretty hard to pull the line in from the calide waters brown. He had caught a yellow belly, his old legs had gone to jelly, and he whispered, Toby, this one's yours, whilst his heart settled down. He raised his glass and toasted all the men long gone, and boasted to a brother long departed, this sure beats the one you caught, but I'll gladly pass up fishing, cause it's you mate that I'm missing, and I guess you know that when mum got the news, she was distraught. The old fellow threw the towel in, found him behind the shed howling like a baby. Mate, I tell you, that sure came as a surprise. For a bloke as tough as leather, who always held it together, well, it fair shook me up to see tears falling from his eyes. I drink a toast here to my brother, and my father, and my mother. All of you were bloody heroes. <laughs>